What is going on everyone? My name is Tom from Red Labs and today I want to show you how to create this effect in After Effects. So about a year ago, I wanted to do a similar effect to this and the only results that I was getting on this glow effect were like plugin based. I thought it would be like way simpler to do like an easier low budget version of it. So I just thought let's share it with uh, everyone on my channel. So to get this effect, uh, I basically went into Photoshop, I created some text and I ran a Photoshop effect that you can get on my web store, uh, which is the Dreadlabs Y2K Chrome. Basically, I'll show you real quick how it works. Type in glow. We'll open up the Dreadlap style kit in here. Uh, we'll click run. So basically, I added the colors a little bit and softened up the edge, which gave me this result. And I dragged that into After Effects. So I'll make a new composition with the just like bare text. So the way that I've done this is really, really easy. Uh, I'll just get the text here, the original one. I'll duplicate it by pressing Control D on my keyboard. I'll put the blend mode to, I think, screen is fine. In effects and presets, I'll search up directional blur. And basically, I want to get the blur length and I'll make it 120. And now I'm going to duplicate that text layer again. And in direction, I'll add 120 degrees as well. And duplicate it once more. And we'll type in 240, which basically makes it so that we now have a glare effect in six directions. Would you like to do this with eight directions? Uh, you can just duplicate it once more and make sure that we'll do increments of 90 degrees. So type in 90 here and 180. Um, so we'll type in 45 here and 90 and 135. And this will give you like that eight sided glow. Uh, let's just do one more because I think we need the 180 as well. And to exaggerate this effect a little bit more, you can also add like an extra length on one of these. So for example, 240 instead of 120, and you'll get that like extra side glow. Uh, the next thing is just play around with the opacity uh, to your liking. And if you would like to animate this, I'll just show you real quick how it goes with the other one. Um, basically, we have the same thing here that we just did with 120 degrees and 240 degrees. So you want to get the directional blur up and click on the stopwatch for the direction. I'm going to do that for all of them. And now you can select all of them and press U on your keyboard and this will pop up probably. And we'll go to the 10 second mark or something. And we'll type in the direction one rotation extra. Which means that the bottom one now has one rotation, the second one has one rotation and 120 degrees, and the third one has one rotation and 240 degrees. So each one has done one full rotation, and if we play that back, you can have the effect rotated. Uh, so this will make for some pretty interesting results, especially when you have animated content, uh, which I didn't have at the moment. I'm sorry for that. But yeah, I, I encourage you to experiment with this style, uh, play around with it and get something that you like yourself. If you want to get the project file for this, uh, you will be available to get that on my Patreon. If you become a patron, you'll get access to all of my project files from all of my tutorials, not just this one. And you'll also get a 15% discount in my Dreadlab web store, which contains a lot of assets. And you'll also get a Discord rule. Do you have any questions or do you feel like you have some suggestions for the next tutorial or maybe something to improve this effect upon? Let me know in the comments or you can join us on Discord. And with all of that being said, I want to thank you for watching. This was Tom from Dreadlabs and I'll see you guys in the next video.